A walk with Yaya. My actual ass would be sitting down next to her watching TV. Fuck outside. <laughs> Just help her up and make sure she doesn't fall when she walks to the bathroom, okay? Her. I'll be back in a few hours. Call me if you need anything. And yeah, yeah. Don't try anything crazy. Lord knows we don't need any more accidents in this house. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, yeah, yeah. Hello, in. In Gornos? I don't know what that means. Oh, I can move around! Oh! The wall is lined with framed photos. Look at first photo. The photo on the left shows a sweeping landscape with a rocky coast and lush blue sea. It's the Greek island where your grandparents used to live. Oh. Look at next photo. The middle photo is a faded portrait of your Yaya and Papu in their 20s, laughing and embracing in front of a quaint brick house. So yeah, there's going to be some Greek um, in here that I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. I'll do my best. <laughs> your Papu is wearing a military field uniform emblazoned with various badges and a Greek flag patch on his right shoulder. So he was in the military. The frame on the right displays a vibrant photo of your Yaya in her 30s with your mother as a young child. Aww. They appear to be skipping together down the sidewalk, holding hands and waving to the camera on a bright summer's day. Strange to think about how Yaya used to help my mom to walk, and now it's the other way around. Aww. Yeah, it's really weird how, like, we regress. It's like, we start out small, we get big, and then we go back to being a child again. <laughs> this reminds me of old school Pokemon. The wall is lined with frame photos. Oh, I looked at those already. What you watching? Interlaced LCD TV, probably at least a decade old at this point. <laughs> On its dim, inaccurate display, a sensationalized news story is unfolding about a government scandal. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So, what you watching? Nothing really. Always the same thing. Just the news. Okay, well. What do you want to do while I'm here? I'm not sure. Whatever you want. What about baking? Well, you can bake if you want. My hands are too shaky. Stupid medicine. Let's do something else then. Mom said that you used to take walks with her. We could walk around the neighborhood if you want. We used to, before I got the walker. It's been a few months. Months? When was the last time you went outside? Let's see. I think there was a doctor's appointment a few weeks ago. Don't you feel shut in? It's not so bad. Well, it doesn't sound so great either. Let's take a walk then. I don't know. Sometimes I get so shaky. Let's watch TV tonight. You always watch TV. How about we just take a few steps outside? Then we can turn back if you get too nervous. Please? Okay. Just a few steps. Great! <laughs> Here, let me up. Let, let me help you up. Okay, dear. Be careful. That's my grandma voice. <laughs> we'll just take it slow. Baby steps. Aww. 
I'm a good grandchild. A walk with Yaya. My actual ass would be sitting down next to her watching TV. Fuck outside. <laughs> See? Now that wasn't so bad. I guess not. Okay, now which way should we go, Yaya? Left or right? It doesn't matter to me. You can pick. Alright, Yaya. Come on. Let's go. All oh, this art style is so cool. How you feeling so far? Kala! Kala! Good. You're doing great. You've got great balance, yeah, yeah. No, no, just shaky and slow. You look pretty stable and agile to me. Just let me know if you need any help, okay? Okay. Come on, Granny. What's this? God, I'm getting so far. Ignore it. In can can you stay closer, please? Whoops! Sorry, Aya. My bad. Oh, it just lets me like run off. I don't know about this. Do we have to keep walking? Can we go home? Come on, Yaya, you're tough. Not, not tough. Trust me. I'll take care of you. Okay. Come on, Yaya. Ignore us? Can, can you help me get over the bump? Of course. Nope! <laughs> I forgot they installed these stupid things in the neighborhood. The bad kids were always zooming around on their dirt bikes, so they put in the speed bumps to try to stop them. Then the kids started using them like ramps, so that plan backfired. Naughty boys. Anyways. Here, I'll hold your hand over the bump. Ah! Come on, Aya. Hey, Aya. Hmm? Question. What did fire hydrants look like in the 40s? Uh, I don't know. Hard to remember little things like that so long ago. You mostly remember the big things. Like what? Um, when I met your papu, and when we got married, big trips we went on, you know? When did you meet Papu? Well, after moving to America, my family lived in Greek neighborhoods. Once, I was at the dance hall with girlfriends, and he comes to me, charming, saying Lampros or Oreos. You know, lovely. Something like that. Sweet things. That's nice. He was polite and proper. He walked me home later and picked flowers for me when I wasn't looking. Aw. It was just the girl, 19, when I met him. We married when I was 20. That's a quick turnaround. It was a different time, you know. Your papa was visiting from Greece when I met him. He wasn't an American citizen yet. We got married so he could stay here. I didn't know you had a green card marriage. Yes. But Teramu was not happy. He didn't like your papa. I, I guess that meant dad. Why not? Did he think Papu only married you to get citizenship? I think yes. He was afraid that your papu wanted our money too. 
We didn't have much in Greece, but soon Patrin Mo had enough to help Theos buy a bar in America. It was a bad neighborhood, but he cared about the bar more than anything. He bet your papu wanted our things and didn't care about us. So after we married, Pataramo stopped talking to me. That's awful, yeah, yeah. He didn't trust your papu. After I had your mother, he started seeing us again, but he still didn't like papu. Sometimes I wonder what I missed in that time when he stopped when we stopped talking. I know it's my the weird voice for her is going in and out, but it's I'm I'm trying to find like a, a Greek old grandma voice. I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, what's over there? Come on, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Agria Karota. That's something in Greek. Wild carrot. We picked them for Mitera Mu and Fields in Rhodes. I'm not gonna say Rhodes because it's like Rhode Island. They have stronger tastes than carrot from farms. My mother, she always made us gather the carota and the sinapi, you know. Oh, what what is the word with the yellow flower the plant you can eat? Honeysuckle? No, no, it uh, must mu mustard. M mustard greens, that's it. Materamu used them to make horta, rasta, tolu, tolu. Oh my god, I am butchering. Butchering the language. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you know how to make those dishes? Yes, I remember some very simple recipes. Many, many combinations of food you can make with plants growing all around you. Could we get some wild plants for dinner tonight? Well, I can't pick plants anymore or cook. Shaky hands, not strong anymore. I understand. But you can talk me through it and I can do all the work. If you want to, you can pluck them right from the ground with your hands. Let's see if we can find more and cook them later. Aw, such a sweet grandchild. Oh, you're beautiful. Mine. Huh? So the roots here are the edible part? Yes, those look good too. Wow, that's kind of a cool 3D pixel art. That's that's kind of neat. It's better when they're young or else they get too tough. So they're supposed to be white like this? Mm-hmm. Doesn't really look like a carrot to me. You're not trying to poison me, are you, Yaya? No, no, you crazy boy. Well, you can teach me to forage then so I don't actually kill us. Okay, ignore us. I'm channeling my master of disguise. <laughs> I am the master of disguise. I am the master of disguise. Because <laughs> they're like Greek or in that, I think. I think they're originally from Greece. Come on, Yaya. Yaya! Yeah, yeah. Don't you cross the street alone. Hey, yeah, yeah. You and Papa used to bird watch sometimes, right? What kind of birds are these? Ignorance. Can 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 you come here, please? Oh shoot. Jeez, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? I I I felt died there. I thought I was going to fall. Bleh. Getting old. You need to sit down. No, no, I think I'm okay. It's my stupid medicine makes me shaky. Do you need to go home? Mm. No, no, it's okay. We made it this far. We keep going. Okay. I'll keep a closer eye on you in case it happens again. Come on, Mama. I hold your hand. You look tired, yeah, yeah. Want to take a break by the creek? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Sorry for pushing you so hard. Makes you feel alive, though, right? <laughs> I guess so. Wow, the forest here looks so different. I used to go on little adventures with the neighbors in there. We played with BB guns and made ramps out of dirt to jump off with our bikes. I haven't thought about those memories for a long time. Makes me feel weird. Well, I'm weird. Can't really explain it. Like a melancholy feeling, but more... Do you say uncomfortable or comfortable? I've changed so much that it doesn't even really feel like it was me doing those things. Hmm... I think I know what you mean. I remember one time we found an old abandoned chair out there and we put it up in a tree. We always wanted to make a tree house, but that was the best we could do. We were goofing around up there once, hitting each other with sticks and stuff. I was sitting in the chair and Robbie threw this big chunk of dirt at me. No, 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 no. You know better than that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that was like 10 years ago. I wouldn't do that now. Anyway, the dirt clock hit me in the chest and it was heavy. So heavy that the chair got knocked loose from the tree and I fell probably like 15 feet, feet to the hard dirt. Oh no! Yeah, it was pretty bad. It knocked the wind out of me. I thought I was gonna die there. I tried to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Robbie freaked out and ran over to me, shaking me, saying that he was so sorry, so, so, so sorry. Finally, he gasped a huge breath and spit up a giant glob of blood all over us. Ugh. Turns out I bit my tongue really bad when I fell. No, 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 I'm gonna kill. Once I could talk again, the first thing I said was, Please don't tell my mom. We went to his house after and got cleaned up. We probably looked like we were just... We just gutted a pig. I borrowed one of his shirts so mom wouldn't see the blood on mine. We threw our bloody shirts in the woods. I lied and told mom that my shirt got ripped by a tree. You know, I bet those bloodstained shirts are still out here somewhere. Tisk tisk. Now that I think of it, Robbie's parents were like never home. I think they were alcoholics or something. They were always going out and never gave Robbie a ride anywhere. He rode his bike to all our friends' houses, and he always missing the bus in the mornings. His parents didn't care enough to notice, I guess. Hmm. wonder if he's doing okay. I hope his life turned out better than his parents. He was really smart. I don't think he could have afforded college, though. How is school going for you? Are you getting good grades? Yeah, yeah, I graduated like two years ago. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. It just goes by so fast. What are you doing now? To be honest, I'm not really doing so great. Oh, Ignoris. Ig in ingon ingonis? Ow. I keep wanting to say Engorgio. It's not that. <laughs> <sighs> I've been jumping between jobs, none of which I'm actually interested in. Not making enough money. Not finding any jobs in my field. It really sucks, yeah, yeah. Not to make you worry, but... Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Maybe I shouldn't have even gone to college. I don't know. There's like a bunch of useless knowledge now. I've learned a lot on interesting topics that I can sound smart talking about. So I got that, I guess. Not many practical skills to make money, though. That's okay. You're still so young. You'll figure it out. Ugh. That's what everybody tells me. You know, your papa wanted to work on airplanes a long time ago. Oh! <laughs> After he got out of the Greek army, he loved to read about airplanes and make models of them.
<laughs> he wanted to fix planes and fly them all over the world. But he never got to? No, no he did not. When he trained to learn to be an aircraft mechanic, it was a very difficult time. He came home angry every night that it wasn't at all what he had hoped. Whee. But the local craft shop heard that he was a smart mechanic. So they hired him to work on cars, and Papu loved cars, mm, but he didn't know that until he got hired at the shop. Huh? I guess I just assumed all old guys like to work on cars from the day they were born. It's a good assumption. <laughs> After that, he never thought about fixing planes or flying anymore. He liked to race around in his car with the top down. Instead of flying around the world, he took a road trip across the country. Uh, Greece? No, no, here. We only went back to Greece for, a sh for short visits to see family. So you're saying that he settled for something less interesting? I don't think so. Just something different. You saw the look on his face when he was driving. Yeah, he did look pretty happy. Meow. 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 Well, thanks, yeah, yeah. Weirdly, that does sort of give me hope. Even though I still really want a job in my field. I just wish I could see the future and know it turns out okay. Oh, I feel ya. I feel ya. Hmm. Not knowing can be exciting too. You're a very smart boy. I believe in you. Thanks, Yaya. I want a Yaya. <laughs> Where's my Yaya? Well, that was a long break. You ready to walk again? Okay, we can keep going. Come on, yeah, yeah. Over the bump. Onward, yeah, yeah. What a pretty flower. Oh, I like the art style. Never seen one like this in the neighborhood before. Should I take it? Pick it up. Yeah, yeah, look. Hey, yeah, yeah. A flower for you. Oh, what a sweet boy you are. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. Here. Oh? Well, don't you look lovely, old lady. Blech. Old. <laughs> he put it in her hair. Oh. I'm sure I look like the oldest lady at the Lua. Have you ever been to a Lua? Mm, I don't think so. Luau's. You and Papu had so many Hawaiian records. What's up with grandparents loving Hawaii so much? You know, the sun, the beaches, fruity drinks, relaxing music. But you guys are from Greece. You had a lot of that stuff there, right? I guess so. Old people are weird. It's a different it's a different time, you know? It's a it's a different thing. Come on, Yaya. Crunchies! Looks like some cat treats. Should I take them? Yeah, yeah. Ignore us? Are you picking up garbage? Maybe. Crazy boy. Parisino. I, I, that was not that word, but that's okay. Who was that? 
was a person. Hi, friend. Should we should we talk to the friend? What a cute boy. Reminds me when you were little. Sniff. <laughs> oh no. He crying. You okay, buddy? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sniff. Yeah. I'm okay. I I'm I'm tough. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I just lost my ball. Ugh. Where'd it go? Well, it, it got bounced in the road. And a, a big jerk dropped by and he hit my ball! It flew down the street like whoosh! Oh no. Uh huh, and mom says she, I'm not supposed to leave the yard. We can look for it. Probably got run over. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for a boy. Yeah, poor little dude. I always used to lose stuff when I was a kid, too. And I was a big baby about it. Always crying when things broke or got lost. No, You were a sweet boy. I guess so. I got really attached to things and people. I couldn't get rid of my stuffed animals until I was like 12. We had too many memories together. I hate that I can be so sentimental. Oh, don't say that. It's why you're so kind today. I think it's your biggest strength. I hope you're right. I, wanna get, I don't want to get too far from her. We hold hands. What was that? Slightly busted umbrella. Pretty crappy. Looks like they were throwing it out. Come on, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh shoot. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. Let I get you under some shelter. Over here, yeah, yeah. Can you stay under here by yourself for a little bit? Uh, I think so. I'm gonna see if I can find something to cover you with so we won't be stuck here until the storm's over. You're gonna be okay. I know. There was an umbrella right over here. I hope Yaya doesn't get hypothermia or something. Oh, No, not my Yaya! I found an umbrella for you. Let's hope it opens up fine. Okay. Aww. Perfect. That's keeping you dry, right? Oh, yes. What about you? You'll catch a cold like that. Don't worry about me. I'm young. Let's just make sure you don't slip on the road. Okay. You be careful now, too. All right, yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yes. You used to be a kid, huh? Y yes. I don't think we've ever talked about your childhood before. What was it like? Oh, what do you mean? Well, it was different growing up back then. What did you do for fun? Well, oh, we played catch, played pretend, listened to the radio, played with dolls. Were you a popular kid? 
when I was little? I cleaned the bar and did the dishes most of the time. Ruthie was there every Friday. Very nice, smart, funny, so poor, always hungry. Skinny girl, but she moved fast. She loved to dance. She asked me to dance with her, but you know me. Shy, too shy. But always she asked me, and one time I said, okay. So she shows me how to jitterbug, and I dance more after that. Were you still friends with her after moving away from the bar? Well... Well... I still feel bad. What happened? Say... One time I was walking in town with some of the girls from school. I wanted them to like me so much. We were walking to the stores and Ruthie was passing by in the street. Oh, what did you do, Yaya? She called over to me. Is that you, Anna? The girls turned to me. They looked confused. So I look at Ruthie and... Oh no, Yaya. Oh. I, I ignore her. Tell the girls I don't know her. No. I say I don't know. I say I don't like her. I say we're not friends. So. Sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. Why did you do that, yeah, yeah? Should probably move the mouse out of there, huh? It was a different time, but I knew it was wrong even then. What happened after that? The other girls, they laughed at her. I laughed too. I never forget the look on her face. I didn't stand up for her. I'm so shy. I wanted the girls to like me so badly. I still feel terrible. Did you talk to her again after that? She still went to the bars for us. That weekend she came to dance like she always did. I went to her and we were both quiet. I was nervous, but I made myself talk to her. I said I was sorry I didn't even like those girls. She said, that's okay, but I knew it wasn't. After that, it wasn't the same. We talked less every week. After some time, she stopped coming to the bar. She was my best friend, and it was my fault. All my fault. Yeah, yeah. What happened to... I don't want her to get a cold. She's still standing in the rain. What you did was bad. What you did was bad. But you can't change the past. You're a better person now. I get confused on who's talking, so that's why, like, my voice doesn't always change. <laughs> You're a better person now, yeah, yeah. But you have to accept the emotional consequences of hurting a friend and understand that Ruthie had to live with that experience. But beating yourself up over it won't help the next help the next Ruthie have a better life. Yes, you are right. And at least you raised my mom to stand up more for other people. You think so? Oh yeah, she's not afraid at all of speaking up to terrible people in public. Sometimes I wish I could be as brave as her. Well, Maybe I got my shyness from you, yeah. Something for me to work on, I guess. Hmm. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for talking with me about this Inguanus Sapaco. Uh, um, so... Where's the house? <laughs> I want it. <gasps> Kitty! 
What a cute little guy. Poor thing, soaking wet. Can we give him a treat? Yes. Nice kitty. Here you go. <gasps> Thor! Crunch, crunch, crunch. Looks like he likes you, Yaya. -ya. Aww. Get puppy. Did we get a cat? Cat, get out of the way. This could be that kid's ball. Let's bring it back to him. Oh, that would be nice. Poop. I can't see. Eh. Where'd the ball go? Oh. Eh. It won't let me pick it up. I have to kick it. Le kick. Oh no. And le kick. Kick that way. Can we? Oh fuck. Kick it that way. And that way. Oh no. And... No! Damn it. Eh. No! Kitty! Oh, the kitty's not following me anymore. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. You stay here. I'm having issues. How's this bunch look? He's no good, no. What? Really? You messing with me? No, it's not Gerda. It's Konio, you know. What did you say before? Poison? Seriously? It looks exactly like the wild carrot. No, it's different. No hair on stem. And the carrot stem is green, not this one. Shoot, I guess you're right. Good to know. Come on, Yaya! Yaya, what the frick? My ball! You found it! Here you go, little man. Thank you, mister and old lady. My mom and my brother will never know I lost it. No problem, little guy. Be careful with it in the rain, though. You might slip. Good Goodbye, pan in my... I don't know what that meant. How sweet. You're a good boy. Hey, yeah, yeah, you were just a little girl when you- Ah, fuck. Wrong voice. And my foot's asleep. God damn it. Hey, yeah, yeah, you were just a little girl when you moved from here from Greece, right? How did it feel immigrating from one country to another? Oh, um, it's so long ago now. Hard to remember too much. What's it like growing up in Greece? Well, there uh, was a lot of problems. What kind of problems? A lot of fighting, scary times. During World War Two, I think. I think yes. You think? How did you not know something like that? Well, if you were there in Rhodes in what, like, 1942? Yes, I think I was very little. And you were born in what, 1932, 35? Yes, 32, 1932. So you were like 10 years old in Greece when I got invaded? I guess so. Holy shit, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. No swear, no swear. Sorry. Wow, that's pretty crazy, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine growing up while that was happening around you. I don't remember too much. 
But I always remember one thing. Uh, what about getting you home? <laughs> Oh, I can steer the boat. We. I don't know why we were there, but we were on a boat. I'm on a boat. And a big plane flew over. We. I'm pretty sure boats don't turn this quickly. Oh, what the hell? When I heard it, I looked up. It was so strange, like a dream. At first, they looked like white birds, thousands of white birds, all dropping from the bottom of an airplane. It looked so pretty. Fluttering in the wind and falling to the sea and the beaches but Pateramu, you know your purpose when I look at this face then I knew it wasn't a good sign I'm confused what is it what was it he told me they were papers you know what are the soldiers? Oh, property now, oh, okay. To recruit them? Maybe. I'm not sure. But when he saw that, he got nervous and we turned the boat around. Turn the boat around. <laughs> I can't remember what happened after. Just papers floating down from the sky. Wow, yeah, yeah. This experience must have made a big impression on you. How did you get to America after that? My family was lucky. Safe. We moved when we had to. But Teramu saved up money he made working at Theodore's Bar. When it was safe, he got tickets. In the sent Mitteramu and me on a plane. He had Phil, his friends, they moved to New York before us. They helped when we arrived. He had to save more money before he could join us. We didn't see him again for a few years. Sounds like a stressful childhood. Mm hmm But we were fortunate to be able to come here. Must have felt lucky to avoid a civil war too. Yes. Well, that's all really interesting, yeah, yeah. But we should get moving again. Wait, did you just tell me that long story so you could get a break from walking? No, of course not me. Sure, old lady. <laughs> oh shit! I don't want. I don't want her to fall. Come on. We have a kitty cat following us now. Come on, kitty. Oh yeah, these here are primo carrots, right, Yaya? Yeah, yeah? Yes, those should be very good. So, what are we gonna have to do to make these edible? Well, you can eat them just like that if you want, after you clean them. But it is better if you roast them, put olive oil and lemon juice. What else do you usually eat with them? Many things. You can have it with boiled radiki. How you say the one with the line, you know? 
Dandelion? Yes, that's it. Dandelion. Makes for a good salad with leaf and root together. And of course you can add feta, dill, red onion, anything you want. Hmm, sounds good. Yes, and it is even better knowing that you pick them on your own. Hi, Fluffy. Grandma, take my hand. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Grandma! Yeah, yeah! I'm so sorry, you okay? Oh, oh no, I was that. My arm. My arm hurts. You were doing so well, I didn't think. Just stay here, let me go. Just stay here. No, am I bleeding? No, no blood. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't pay more attention. You were walking so well before. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, here. See if you can flip over. Let me make sure you're not badly hurt. Oh, what the Okay, nothing looks broken. Can I see your arm? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Seems a bit bruised, but I think it'll be okay. Doesn't nearly look as bad when you fell. <laughs> awful, awful. It's gonna be okay. I think you're alright. As long as the pain starts to go away, we'll just sit here for a bit, okay? Okay. If anything gets worse, I'll call an ambulance. Just gotta re take relax a little bit. We don't want your blood pressure getting too high. Let's take some slow deep breaths. Deep breaths. Slow breaths. Good. Sigh. You're okay. Everything's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pain going away? I think so. I got so dizzy. Just all of a sudden, I thought... I thought I was going to have a seizure. I had one in many years. I didn't know that. It's gotta be scary if that could happen out of nowhere. Blech. Must be the medicine. Stupid medicine makes me shaky and dizzy. Can't do anything by myself. Useless. Useless. You're not useless. Your family loves you. We need you, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter that you need help doing things throughout the day. And yeah, sometimes it's hard for mom and Lauren and me to find time for each of us to take care of you, but we can handle it. And we know you'd do the same for us if you could. You're not useless. If you say so. You gotta build up your self-confidence, yeah, yeah. Doing a great job. It's my fault you fell. I should have been watching you better. It's so okay. I think I'm ready to walk again. I was literally holding your hand. I was holding your hand the whole time. What is that on the pole? A missing cat poster? Looks just like the guy following you around, yeah, yeah. That's his owner. owner's home right across the street. Looks like he's going in through the garage. Goodbye, Catula. Well, we did something nice for someone today, yeah, yeah. Yes. It feels good. I haven't helped anyone else in a long while. I should leave the house more. I think that'd be really good for you. Sometimes I just wish I could leave the house without any help again. I'm sorry, Aya. It must be really hard losing your independence after her taking it for granted all those years. Mm. Maybe we could talk to your doctor to see what things we could do to make you feel better about that. Maybe you're right. Should ask your mother. No, you you hold my hand, yeah, yeah. No fall. Oh, is this just a big loop? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it seems like. All right, yeah, yeah, we're almost back home. Want to take one last break before the final stretch? Okay. Uh, 
How long have we been walking for? Maybe like half an hour? Definitely not long enough for my mom to be back yet. I hope she's relaxing for once. I can't remember the last time she went out with friends. Hmm. Are you and mom getting along okay? I know it hasn't been easy for either of you since you started needing more help. Well, sometimes we argue, sometimes we get along. Just hope that I've been a better mother than... Mia Tierma. Your... Poyaya was very tough lady. She could be scary. Your poor purpose and her wanted very much from me. They told me to be a proper lady. I had to do many things I didn't like. I wanted to play jazz, but Meteramu made me learn classical piano. I didn't know you wanted to play an instrument. Oh, I haven't played in a very long time. After I moved in with your papu, my piano gathered dust, you know. The tuning wasn't right, and I started to get these shaky hands. Do you ever miss it? Sometimes. I didn't like playing at first because I was forced to. But when I learned more, I started to appreciate the music. I was very shy, but not when I was in a recital or on stage. When I was allowed to choose a song to play, I could have control over my feelings. What pieces did you like the most? Hmm. I like the lively ones. Brahms, Hungarian dances, Shavosky's Nutcracker. Dances and waltzes were always my favorite to learn. But I like to write more emotional, slow pieces for myself. You compose songs for the piano? I didn't write too much, but there was a few pieces that I was proud of. Can you remember what they sounded like? Well... One always stands out in my memory. It was a song I wrote for Mitterman. The melody went like this. Frere Jaca, Frere. Oh, wait, well, wrong, wrong. <laughs> it's a pretty little melody, yeah, yeah. What did your mom think of it? I could never tell what she was thinking. I thought if I could just impress her, I might be happy with myself. I wanted my music to give an emotional. Give her an emotion, any emotion. I never saw her cry or yell, only quiet judgment and disapproval. It was my favorite song I had composed. I thought that it had to get a reaction out of her. What happened? I... I played it for her one night after supper. Didn't even look like she was paying attention. What'd she do when you were finished? She only said, hmm, and then left the room. I wanted to hate her for it, but I was only upset at myself for trying. I could never be good enough for her, no matter what I did. I'm sorry, Yaya. I bet you were glad to leave home. Hmm. But when she was older, we became a little closer after my father died. Something in her changed, and she was a little nicer to me for the rest of her life. She started to find things we had in common, and I went to visit her more often. 
It was still hard to forgive her for all the things she had said to me when I was young. No, poor Yaya. When she got the dementia, the dementia, <laughs> she forgot that my father had passed away. She forgot who I was. She thought I was a stranger trying to hurt her, so she pushed me away all the time. But near the end, she was in the hospital. I heard her humming to the nurse, asking her if she knew what that song was. It was a song I wrote for her. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that she had remembered it all those years later, even with the memory loss. And it even seemed to cheer her up to hum it. There was a player piano in the lobby of the hospital, so I asked the nurse if I could play it. They wheeled her downstairs, sat there across from me, and I played her song. This time, when I finally turned to her, I saw the biggest smile on her face. It's the happiest I'd ever seen her. She only lived a few more weeks after that. <laughs> I just wish she could have been more carefree and happy like that before she got sick. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a confusing relationship. Definitely have issues with how my parents raised me, but it seems like yours were much more intense. I hope you know that you're a better parent to my mom than yours was to you. I always tried to be, but I'm sure you'll leave, you'll be even better to your children. My children? Let's not jump the gun here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's assuming I'll ever get the chance to have kids, or even want any, really. Well, if you do, I just know that you'll be a great parent. Thanks, Yaya. I think it's time we get moving. Is this the house? I was gonna say that's real close if it was. Oh, that's right, it's up here. Well, look at that, yeah, yeah. We're all the way back at your house again. Are we going inside now? Yeah, I'm ready to call it the night. Yes, me too. Okay, now you can relax again, yeah, yeah. You walked a lot today. Yes. Hmm. It's getting too late to cook up something with these carrots we picked. We didn't really forage enough to make much of anything anyways. Oh, that's okay. Ingonos. We can pick more some other day. Let's settle in for the evening while we wait for my mom to get home. Here, let's get you back to the spot on the couch. No. Ring! Ring ring! Hello? Hey, how's everything going with Yaya? It's going well. That's good. Sorry, but there's any chance you can stay overnight? I don't know if I'll be able to make it home before it gets really late. And I don't want Yaya to be by herself for that long. Yeah, no problem. Great, thank you so much. I'll be back early in the morning. Don't forget to take Yaya to the bathroom before bed. And set up her toothbrush and face wash at the sink. Oh, and her night clothes are in the second drawer of the dresser. She might need help with her stocking, so wait outside the room until she gets dressed. Okay, okay, I got it. Alright, call me if you need anything else. Love you. Love you too. Bye, ma'am. Good morning, Yaya. What time is it? It's almost 10.30. Oh, I slipped in. Is your mother home yet? Not yet. 
She should be back soon, though. Okay. I had the funniest dream last night. All right. What? I'm a cricket. <laughs> Whee! Oh, grasshopper. Same thing. Ah! Why is it Z to hop? This is so freaking weird. I can't. It's, it's very weird. My fingers don't work like that. I can't. Oh, my right hand does not like that. Oops. Wee. Eh. Wee. 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 <laughs> oh god. Ah. And then after some time, I saw your papa. Oh! He saw us on Christmas in our old house. Oh, those are real people! Oh, that's so cute! Hold that thought, Yaya. Let me help you get dressed. Okay, thank you, Unnotis. Unnotis. I don't want my mom thinking I haven't been taking care of you when she gets back. Here, let's put your hair up too. There you go. Okay, so you're with Papu in your dream? Yes, I saw the last Christmas we all had together before he died. I, I felt him there with me, pushing me forward, watching our memories of the final Christmas. You remember how he used to fool with the dog? Oh god. Oh god! Ah! <laughs> he pretended he didn't like pets, but he always had a soft spot for animals. Aww. Drove my mom crazy with that stuff. Didn't always get along. <laughs> uh oh. I remember she got really mad at him the last Christmas. I think he said something sexist about the news anchor anchors look looks when we're watching TV. Is it actually them? Mm-hmm. She barely talked to him for most of the dinner after that. Always made me nervous when things got tense between them. He messed with her more when he was drinking and sometimes he'd yell at her if she disrespected him. That Christmas though, they seemed on good terms by the end of the night. Yes, I saw that in my dream too. And I thought to myself, this is the last time we'd all be together again. And that made me try to remember the last time I'd ever cook a meal for myself. The last time I walked without help. The last time I was able to do anything on my own. I just felt so free to be independent again, flying in my dream. But it also made me realize that I have to accept what I cannot do anymore. Like what? I don't... I don't think I can take walks like yesterday anymore. What do you mean? You're doing a great job walking you made so far. I can't keep falling like that. Today my leg hurts from it. It's too much. Too much? But I thought we had a good time. You seem happy after. Didn't it feel good to get outside and move around? Always. 
I'm always glad to spend time with you, but it was nice, and it was nice to get some fresh air, but I'm getting very old. I cannot push myself anymore. Sure you can! Even if I can, I don't think it's what I want. The strength of my body is not coming back, and I should have understood that a long time ago. The world changes sometimes, and you have to adjust to it. I've lived a full life. Any more would be... Uh, plus, I don't know what that word is. Just need to get better at anything to feel good about myself anymore. I don't need to get better at anything. Oh, oh my god, words. I don't need to get better at anything to feel good. Aww. And I think you've been push... That you pushed me yesterday made me realize this. I mean, that's good, though. Oh, I am not even going to try that. Thank you for that. I know it may seem sad to you, but please understand this now. She's understanding her limits. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to me. I feel the most calm I have in a while. It's good to understand your limits. You know what are you thinking? I think I know what you mean. I guess it's good to set your boundaries, and accepting the limits of your body isn't something I ever had to deal with before. But you really don't think you can walk anymore? Not like yesterday, no. So we can try again another time? We'll take it at whatever pace you want. Maybe just halfway around the block next time, or even less. Yes, I think that sounds good. Or we can just sit and watch TV and talk if you want. I do like TV. Let's get let's get her a motorized scooter. She'll fucking be pimped out, pimped out around the neighborhood. <laughs> I feel like she needs help getting stuff out of the tr trunk. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've got to go. I'll try to come by again sooner next time. Maybe a couple weeks. I've been busy, but I think I can do that. That would be nice. Good. Love you, yeah, yeah. See you soon. Aww. I think that probably meant I love you too. Aww. They were real. No. Ha ha ha.